Well, I want to send a big kiss to all my friends from Nollywood Radio Friends, from Savage Bertin, ex Miss Haiti, an actual actress. Quiero enviarles un beso grandísimo a toda mi gente de Nollywood Radio Friends. De verdad, los quiero mucho de parte de Miss Haiti, Savage Bertin, actual actriz. Je vais vous envoyer un grand bisou à tous mes amis de Nollywood Radio Friends. Je suis vraiment contente d'être dans la radio et c'est vraiment un honneur pour moi. Je vous aime, je vous adore et je vous embrasse. My guest today is uh, Soraj Berton, actress, Goodwill Ambassador, Miss Universe, and President of Soraj for a Purpose Foundation. Correct. Now, let me start first of all with the day you were crowned Miss Universe. How did you feel? Well, first of all, thank you for this invitation. Right. It's an honor for me to talk to you. Thank you. And talking about Miss Universe, I have to say it's a one-time experience in the life, you know? Okay. It's a very beautiful contest. I learned a lot and I, well, they introduced me to a lot of nice people, people that I or became my friends, although that did became my friends, but we maintain a relationship. Okay. And I believe that contests and programs like the Miss Universe opens a lot of doors, not only for me as a person, as a beauty queen, but also for my country. Because what I was representing was Haiti, and I had my flag on, and I was, every time I was on the stage, was Miss Haiti. So it's a very <laughs> great promotion for every country. Right. And that's how I feel it. And I live this. Yes. And I swear, if I could, I would do it again. Oh, that's <laughs> great. That's great. That's great. And I, I watched um, some of the uh, videos on the day you were crowned Miss Universe. And uh, I saw how you, the support you got from people, uh, people yes. from Haiti. It was fascinating, fantastic. And again, you were so um, humble when you received the crown. So, w w can, can you tell us the person you had in mind when you received that crown? Well, I have, I have to tell you that being represented my country in international pageant has been a dream for me right. since I was 14, 15 years old. Right. I started looking at beauty pageants and I always see all those beautiful girls representing their country. Yes. And I was saying to myself, why is it Haiti represented? You know? yes, yes, and of yes. course, I started modeling while I was looking to law school. Okay. I did it as a hobby, but I always wanted to represent my country. After I graduated from law school, I was 21, yeah. and I didn't have the opportunity yet to go to the Miss Universe contest because they was not, they were not doing yet the Miss Haiti contest. Okay. So I thought it, maybe it wasn't for me. Maybe in another in the future I would have the opportunity to send a girl or to help her go. Okay. But three years later, when I was working as lawyer in my office and everything then a friend called me and told me they're gonna do Miss Haiti this year mm -hmm. I was in shock because it was a dream and I, I was thinking well I'm still young I still can do it but I'm working as a lawyer yeah. so I have to decide it was a big moment for me and I decided I believe I decided right and I would decide the same thing again I decided to quit my job I went and I participated yeah. and yeah. thank God I won yes, yes. and after the Miss Universe, after Miss Haiti, my life has, has changed. So, I believe that everything you do does change your life, but yeah. this was a main, a big change in my life. After the Miss Universe, I started being interested in acting. Mm -hmm. I, I never did before. Yeah. I always wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah. Never thought about being an actress yeah. until I started studying for acting classes while they were preparing me for the Miss Universe contest. Yeah. Now, we, we're going to talk about your career, first of all. Now, um, um, how did a master degree holder in uh, business and international litigation law like you get so immersed in acting? It's surprising, well, right? <laughs> Yes, it is a big change, as I was saying. I do have a master in international business and international litigation. And I love law. I love what I started. And I believe that one day I will practice it again. 
But now acting is my new passion, and I'm dedicated to acting. I'm taking, I'm, of course, I'm always taking classes because you always have to learn. Right. I'm the type of person that believes that you never know enough. So I did take acting classes in Miami for one year and a half with a teacher, a Mexican actor named Roberto Wicochea. Okay. So he was my teacher. And after this, I have been taking act, act, acting classes with many other teachers. Okay. Because I believe that everyone I can learn from, I will. Right, right. Where did you study law? Is that in the, in the United States? No, I studied law in the Dominican Republic, okay. in the Universidad Iberoamericana. Okay. And I did my master in the Pucamaima, Pontificia okay. Universidad. And also my master was a double title of master because it was with the university from Spain. Yeah. So I got two titles from the same master. Yes. I, I, and again, you speak French, you speak Spanish, you speak yeah. English, you speak how many, language, how many languages do you speak? Well, actually, I speak five. Right five. now I'm saying only four yeah. because I have been like... I haven't practiced my fifth language for like two years and a half, so I'm starting to forget a little bit, but I do speak it, and I understand it perfectly, and that's Italian. Okay. So that would be French, yeah. Spanish, English, Creole, and Italian. Wonderful. And actually, I was learning Mandarin, too, oh five God. years ago, yeah. and I, I still can say something. Ni hao, wo han hao, shi shi, <laughs> oh, uh, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? That's Chinese. Yes. yes. <laughs> I really love languages. As I told you, I love learning new things. I love learning about new cultures. I love meeting people. I love it. It's yes. Everything that comes to me, I yes. want to grab it and learn it. Yeah. That's just how I live my life. Wonderful. How did you get into Nollywood? Well, actually, well, I have to thank a very special person that introduced me to the Nollywood market, to the Nollywood acting business, because I didn't know much about Nollywood. I started acting not long ago, but I only knew actually about Hollywood and Bollywood. Then my friend Evano introduced me to the market and gave me a great opportunity because I believe that this movie I just made with Nollywood is going to open a lot of doors for me. Okay. I know that it's going to be a tremendous, a great movie. I worked on it with all the cast, with all the directors, and it, it has been one of the best production I have been in, and I love the crew, I love the people. We have... A, very nice relationship from it and we're all working so the movie can be the best okay. so i really believe that when people get together and they believe in something it will work yeah you mean one night in vegas or is, is that one night in vegas you mean yes yeah we... one night in vegas first nollywood movie with Kobe Maxwell, yes. and it has been a great experience for me. I, of course, I hope to do other movies in Nollywood because I like I like it. Yes, yes. It's a very nice market. They do a lot of movies every year. Yes. So I do believe that one when one night in Vegas is coming out, it's gonna open a lot of doors for me. Great. Now I, you you mentioned um, Kobe Maxwell. So according to Kobe Maxwell. The movie One Night in Vegas is a diverse cast of people from different backgrounds coming together to tell one story. How do you relate to this statement and uh, uh, what's the storyline? How? Yeah. Well, well, actually, I believe that Kobe is right because we came from all over. We came from all places to do one project that we all believed in. Yes. The reason why I did this movie is because when I read the script, when I investigated about the people, about the directors, about the producers, I was very interested because I know that they have done a lot of great work before. Yeah. And I believe that this project is gonna be bigger than the ones they have done, they did before. Yeah. So I came as the ex Miss Haiti, new actress, and I have, I was so happy to work in this movie. I believe that also Jimmy and all the actors that came from all over, they have really learned from it too, because they are big stars. But every time you do a production, you learn something new. 
So I believe that this is great for us, but it's a great step also for Kobe as the producer. Great. Now, um, Chichi Okunkwo published the sneak peek of a video of um, the movie One Night in Vegas on her Facebook page. Yes. So I enjoy the scene starring Jimmy John Louis. Um, you know, I interviewed Jimmy John Louis in Paris. I, I met him in one of the festivals in Paris. Yeah. Yeah. See, such a Jimmy's very. Jimmy's a great person. Such a and very I've nice. Learned person. a lot from him too. So yeah. I have to thank Jimmy. Yeah. As, and I have to thank all the actors because every time I see them, I learn from them, yeah. and that's what we have to do. Yes, he's very profound. So um, yeah. it, there, uh, um, in this video I watched because the uh, trailer is not out. The trailer of One yeah. Night in Vegas is not out, so uh, you have there in this uh, video uh, Yvon Nelson and Dumelo getting ready to spend a quality time in um, Vegas. In Vegas, yes. that's true. So what was your role in the movie? Well, actually, they were coming to me because I was already in Vegas. <laughs> 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 I was going in Vegas too. Actually, uh, I'm the one that gets married in a movie with Jimmy, yeah. and I do met Yvonne and John in yeah. Vegas. Yeah. And I can't tell you exactly what happened between us because then you're going to know everything about the movie, and I want all of you to see it. Mm -hmm. But in the movie, I'm his wife. Okay, okay. <laughs> right, okay. The, the the premiere of the movie is uh, coming up on the 13th of uh, of uh, September. Yeah, and uh, it, that's going to be at the National Museum Theatre, Washington. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. So now um, there's a there's a saying that goes, um, uh, "Want what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas." So, what will be your role in the promotion of uh, uh, this wonderful movie? Because I love so much the the location, and it's so wonderful. In fact, like like you said, it's going to be a movie. Actually, Vegas is. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, I do. I can. Right, right. It's it's uh, and again. Um, a, a good number of people interviewed in the sneak peek, they were so excited because Las Vegas makes people to dream. You know, it, it, it's a type of euphoria. You 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 yeah. want to be there yeah. <laughs> with the lights it's and true. The, it, There's you, one thing I have to say. Yes. about Vegas. The the team of Vegas is what well, the what happened in Vegas still in Vegas. Yes. But I can say that not always it is as so Sometimes what happened in Vegas comes out of Vegas, and then you have to ask, what if that happened? Yes. That's what you're gonna discover in the movie. That's and that's and that's what we're going to discover, like you said. There's a debate in Nigeria that. Um, a good number of movies produced in the United States cannot be considered as um, Nollywood. Some people will be saying um, that One Night in Vegas is not Nollywood because you have um, Hollywood in the movie, you have Nollywood in the movie, and then you have at the same time Gollywood. And again, when, yeah. you, when you look at the the locations when you look at the quality of the movie you you say oh this movie will find itself in car next year so do you subscribe to to the argument that um one night in vegas is above nollywood and we call it cinema do you subscribe to this uh, to to this argument well i believe that one night in vegas is a great movie and yeah. one night in vegas can get wherever we want it to get yeah but it's still a Nollywood, it's still a Nollywood movie. I think that it has been created with a Nollywood conscience, and they have produced the movie under the Nollywood, like under the Nollywood Level. norm, under what they know from their country. Yeah. So why would we say that it's not from Nollywood? So this is a little treasure. The movie is a treasure right now. And if we accept it's a Nollywood, it's from Nollywood, then it will be a Nollywood treasure. Okay. So 
it can go to Hollywood. We can introduce the movie to the Caribbean, to Latin America. I, I believe that everybody all over the world is going to love the movie. Okay. But they're going to know in the end that it's a Hollywood movie, and mm. that's going to make the Hollywood market well known in the mm. international business of mm. acting. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. We're going to talk about one thing you're doing for the children of Haiti. I watched you um, eating with children, helping them, and you you giving back to the society what you you eventually got from what you said when you were 14 years, you know, you did everything to become yeah. a, a beauty uh, um, queen, yeah, and, they, and again you won um, the title of Miss Universe, you are a lawyer, and uh, a lot of energy, but you said, okay, I will go down to the roots again to help these young people. In, in fact, you, what prompted you to create this foundation, this humanitarian organization, why did you do that? Well, I have to say that I have been working with children since 2002. I have been helping a lot of organizations and like, I've, I've worked for free with the OEA. I've worked with organizations named Little Hands on the Street that okay. work with kids with, with HIV. I, okay. I work with kids with nutrition problems. I've been doing it before being Miss Haiti. So the, the fact is that after being Miss Haiti, people have been more interested into what I'm doing. Yeah. So I decided to create my foundation yeah. so people that, that follows me can understand how big is the importance of giving back to your society, to your country, to the yeah. world. Because you receive a lot from your parents, from your country. Yeah. But what do you give back? Yeah. I cannot help everyone by myself yeah. but everyone can help someone yeah. and make a difference in their life yeah. so that's what i believe right now i'm helping 105 children okay. i'm feeding them i'm paying the school for them i'm giving them everything they need yeah. and i want to do much more and i know that god is going to give me the possibility of doing it yeah. so one day maybe i will not be helping 100 i will be helping 500 1000 and that's my dream i have a lot of big and nice projects with the foundation Right now, we are organic, uh, we, we have one project to build a technical professional school. Okay. So we can give uh, technical professional education to the orphans. Okay. And that's my main project, and hopefully I will start building at the end of the year. Okay, that's, that's just wonderful. If somebody wants to help your foundation, do you have a website or a telephone we, number? We have the website. Yes, we do. The website is www.sarajforapurpose.com or .org. You also can contact me at info at sarajbertin.com. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Saraj Beto, Miss Universe. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Such a pleasure and really a big kiss for all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Yes, bye-bye.